hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Nelly Mwangi and if you're new here welcome welcome I make content around beauty fashion lifestyle and everything in between and this week's video is a fragrance video mm -hmm. these tend to do very well on my platform um, I guess you guys are just as enthusiastic about fragrances as much as I am so without further ado let's get into the video <laughs> of me I have one two three four five six seven eight fragrances and these are new scents um, new in the sense that they've been in my collection for the last six months or less um, most of them actually I think I only bought one two out of the six two are bought the rest are either gifts or PR um, gifts so I will be mentioning that just for the sake of transparency but um all these fragrances are available from my plug our plug he's now our plug his name is tony he's from sierra perfumes and tony has been supplying me with fragrances for as long as i can remember and he's so reliable and trustworthy and he is the man that you need to speak to when you're not sure what to buy you can describe for him a mood a tone and he'll tell you what goes with that mood or tone um, I've made I've had a lot of people come back to me saying that they bought their husbands their boyfriends their girlfriends scents, and it was all from Tony's recommendation I feel like that should be a hashtag hashtag Tony's recommendation and it's gone so well and they're so happy with their purchase so I am so glad that Tony is out here doing the thing he is the proper fragrance man okay he is the he is the man you need on your phone if you need perfume and all things fragrances okay good so I will be mentioning fragrances and I will put down the price from Sierra perfumes where you can buy all the fragrances I'm talking about plus much much more the variety is so vast and at some point I have to stop myself from just going through the feed because I want everything <laughs> I feel like I need a fragrance to represent you know my different moods and different days and different occasions and yeah so save let's just say save and buy the fragrances uh, because it is definitely addictive it is such a wonderful experience i find so much joy in smelling good i find so much pleasure in in indulging in fragrances and so it's a proper passion indulge at your own risk <laughs> okay so i will start with i think the one i got first and it is one of my favorite favorite fragrances and it was a blind buy just to put that out there this is chloe other other perfume um chloe other perfume first of all i don't know why my bottle it's a very beautiful bottle i don't know why my bottle has like this uh, wear and tear it looks like it's aged um i i really don't know i keep all my fragrances in my cupboard which is very dark and cool because the fragrances don't like light and um, heat so it, it makes them go bad very fast so I, I don't know why this has happened maybe this is just how the bottle is supposed to age but it's a beautiful bottle I've used this fragrance a lot and it hasn't moved much which tells me two things that you don't need to apply a lot of this to get the wear so you don't need to apply a lot the CR everyone around you smells this fragrance I've gotten a lot of compliments on this fragrance and the third is the longevity it stays on the whole day you don't need to top up she is such a beautiful 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 woman this one I call her woman because I think she's not a, um, a naive maiden girl no she's a beautiful woman who's who just enjoys um, picnicking who very gentle this fragrance is so gentle so it's a woman who she knows herself but she just enjoys the daintiness there's a daintiness to this fragrance which is oh so feminine i can smell it without even opening the, the cup so the notes in this beauty are rose uh lily of the valley peonies and we have amber and cedar those two notes complement the floral notes beautifully because it is not just it's not your typical floral scent there is a, there's a lot of elegance to this um floral fragrance and there's 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 a lot of it, it there's there's a sense of when i wear it because it works beautifully with my my body chemistry when i wear this there's a there's a beauty 
uh, an elegance to this fragrance. Let me just say that this is an elegant lady, a, a, a confident, not like loud bold, but a confident, elegant lady. And as I mentioned, she is a compliment getter. I like to wear her when it's nice and hot outside. So she just really blossoms because she's a flower. She just blossoms at that time and she just brings this whiff of it's fresh but not like like lemon it's just fresh flowers the lily is really pronounced but there's also the, the said that there's the there's a like a woodiness but not too much she's just an elegant lady one of my absolutely favorite fragrances in my entire collection this one along the lines of delicate fragrances i have this too i will so this one, the first one is Rosa Nobile. This is by Aqua de Parma. So the, the Chloe I bought, as I mentioned, was a blind buy. I bought my Chloe bag and then I saw the Chloe fragrance and I was like, I'm a Chloe girl now. So this is what we're doing. So uh, the next is Rosa Nobile. And this I also bought um, with my own money because I saw it came in a set of a bath gel and a hand gel and a hand cream. And I thought that's always a steal when you buy them in... Um, in a pack like that it saves you so much money i still have the hand cream and i finished the shower gel it was so yummy but this is aqua de palma rosa nobile and on the other hand i'm i'm holding aqua de palma peonia nobile so this was a gift this was um a purchase i made myself both excellent now i'm going to do the review the review together because they're kind of similar I love the frosting on this bottle. This is a definite plus. I love, love the frosting. There you go. And the juice inside is a beautiful blush pink. And the juice inside this one is also a beautiful rosé pink because it's, it's rose. So Rosa Nobile just means noble rose and Peonia Nobile is noble peony. And as the name suggests, this is made of the notes comprises of mainly rose and peonies and this one mainly peonies and rose so these are two floral fragrances but i find them very linear on me what you spray is what you get the opening of this one the base is a little bit more deep deep and dark yeah the, the opening notes but it settles and it smells like this beautiful light rose scent and it's just that that's all i get it's very linear um it's it smells like a beautiful delicate woman a light woman she never raises her voice um she just sits back and she's just hi she's just very delicate this one um it gives me the sense of very chill and laid back and um not really not really trying to you know do the most that's her um same as this one i get rose as well and peonies but as soon as i spray this there's a burst of just brightness there's a brightness into in this one the peonia one that this one doesn't have this one is very like deep yeah but this there's a brightness as soon as I apply it, but that also settles into this smooth, uh, dainty, delicate scent. I like to wear the Peonia to bed um, or in the evenings because there's a little bit of musk. I think with the brightness that it first sparks out when it dries down, apart from the delicate Peony scent, there's a little bit of a musky scent, a spicy, peppery scent that this has. Actually, it's spicy pepper and i like to wear this one at night especially like intimate settings so date night um if you know you're going to be in close pro proximity with someone this is something you'd wear if you're hosting at your place this is something you'd wear when it's in the evening and it's cooler so i wouldn't recommend any of this for like heat heat like nairobi january heat maybe later in the afternoon when the heat has kind of died down or even at night because warm summer nights are their thing so this I'd recommend for evening um, and when it's much cooler temperatures are much lower and it's not as hot so so delicate so 
gorgeous this was a blind buy i had never gotten a whiff of this ever i just liked the packaging and um you know i i, I am a marketer's dream because i really buy into branding and packaging and all that stuff so i saw how it was packaged and i fell for it and i got it and i do not regret at all next scent is jo malone blossom cologne so we're keeping up with the theme of florals and not just any florals but florals that the the juice has been has been tweaked to elegance and not a bouquet of flowers so there's a lot of elegance in all of these fragrances i'm talking about they're not your typical um floral scents and they're not common scents there's a uniqueness to each one of them and i appreciate them all individually they all bring something different to the to the table and to my fragrance collection they're each very different they each have their own personality um but they they have an underlying uh, daintiness to them ah so jo malone describes this fragrance on their website as a shimmering garden oasis and that is so spot on because as soon as you spray this beauty there's a burst of clementine flower dancing beautifully with orange blossom and lily it is just a, an explosion of floral citrusy juicy juicy you know, like mm, like a squeezed lime there's 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 a there's a freshness that's just really juicy and the bust that brightness for me it calms down gradually it's not very instant it calms down gradually the dry down is floral but there's also some 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 fruitiness there's a sweetness um like from i guess it's from the orange because like there's like the orange rind which is not bitter but it's not floral so the dry down is like a fruity orange that's just delicate and and white it's white <laughs> um yeah it's it's a white floral but with the fruity notes of the orange a rich juicy orange very elegant a very elegant scent and for jo malone the longevity is amazing and i'm saying for jo malone because jo malone tend to have like four hour periods and you have to reapply but with this beauty you're gonna get value i wear this when it's hot hot i wear this to polo a lot also with the chloe i wear to polo a lot because i'm outside i'm under the um, canopy or i'm just sitting on the bleachers and it's hot 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 this is beautiful everyone is just was like oh my god this smells so fresh this one next is shalima by galan the story behind shalima is just beautiful i would urge you to go and read about it because the story it's a love story that just pulls on my heartstrings story of a boy who loves a girl turns out he's a he's a king and um gets the girl of his dreams and she passes away she he adores her and he and uh, he adores her and you know he even calls her like the, the jewel of my life or of my home he adores this woman and um she dies while giving birth to their child and so he builds the taj mahal in india as homage to the love he has for her and the gardens are just gorgeous i've been to the taj mahal it's gorgeous okay thank you i don't even know how they built that thing all those hundreds of years ago it's it's gorgeous and so he builds that as as an homage to the love he has for her and the gardens are just beautiful so shalema is named after one of the beautiful gardens and it just speaks to love it just speaks to the idea of being in love and loving love and loving your person i love this i love the story so much that whatever juice is in here it's okay i'm wearing shalima i'm wearing the story of love okay i'm sold i told you i'm a marketer's dream <laughs> so this fragrance was one i uh i coveted and wanted for so long but i never got around to buying it well it was a prezi so thank you universe uh for me i just smell powder like baby powder like the dry down is powdery and 
like the opening scent is just powdery like baby powder like johnson johnson's baby powder which is strange because this fragrance is the og oriental fragrance this fragrance is from 1925 that's when this was created 1925 so it's an og oriental fragrance and i'm sure they've done renditions of this but the one i'm holding today in 2021 is this baby powder with a hint of mandarin i don't get the muskiness but i do get us um, uh, um what do you call it when you burn essence i do get that burnt burnt essence ness am i making sense there's you know when you burn incense incense i get that i get that um scent like myrrh I get a myrrh scent, I get an incense burning scent, but very far away. But for me, potentially, it's Johnson & Johnson baby powder and a hint of mandarin. Boom. And I'm good to go. This is for the more mature woman. This is something you can give to your mom, your aunt, or someone who really, truly, deeply appreciates perfume. This and Chanel Number no. 5 are fragrances that I believe a certain woman can only wear and carry it well yeah next is the tom ford family this war pr gift from the tom ford team in africa thank you so much um and this was a rendition or it was a 2.0 version of the iconic tom ford black orchid this is an iconic fragrance i have spoken about this fragrance before it is at all time this this let me tell you something game changer released in 2016 this came to disrupt the perfume world it came to hashtag shake the table disrupt the status quo tom ford who is a world-renowned clothing designer wanted to make a fragrance that matched his clothes so fragrance with personality and i can say that he so far has surpassed that goal so Tom Ford, the original. You guys already know this. If anyone is wearing Tom Ford, the minute they whiz by, you'll be like, that's Black Orchid. This has become a staple. I think every collector has Tom Ford. And I love that his scents are neither male or female. They're just whatever mood you feel like. As I said, his fragrances are geared towards personality. And um, you find your personality in the fragrance, and that's who you are. So... I contain multitudes hence why i have different tom ford fragrances but tom ford black orchid is the first tom ford fragrance you should own before you even go and find out about the other personalities this is the one that just embodies sex opulence luxury oh it's so juicy it's sex in a bottle it's so sexy whether a man is wearing this or a woman there's just a mystery behind behind them. The scent is velvety, chocolatey. It's, oh God, it's sex in a bottle. I don't know if I've said that. It is so good. And then they go ahead and boom, do a 2.0 version. Now, what's the difference? If you may ask, I would say that this is more fine-tuned i felt like with tom ford the original they just gave us everything they gave us everything they had everything they'd been working on they were just like boom 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 here take it chew choke on it swallow it but with this one they have refined the notes so this is very big and bold and in your face i am shouting i am wearing tom ford and i am i'm here i am i am speaking to you right while this one has a sparkliness that is not as loud as this but it sparkles so they added ylang ylang in this one and they also added rum into this one so that's why i use the word sparkly so they reduced the sweetness because there's a huge amount of sweetness in this one and they kind of brought an edge to this so even when you smell in the bottle this doesn't like shout at you it kind of takes you through the the notes it doesn't just hit you um between the two i would say for sure black orchid the original because i like to shout it's 
sometimes and when i feel like shouting boom this one but um once you've gotten acquainted with this then you can do this one for like maybe daytime but this is a nighttime fragrance guys or like an event black tie event wear this and just um fuck shit up just go in there be like boom 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 it's me hey hi yeah but this is more toned down where you're among other people who know what's up you wear this one you don't need to shout as much because you're in good company you know everyone's everyone knows what's up that's what you wear and that's how i'll describe this too boom done so it's not like i saved my best for last but i kind of saved my best for last get into this bottle this is ysl lib yes ysl lib so lib is french for bold that's all you need to know done i'm done done i'm done with that review it's over bye lib psych but you know what i'm saying you get what i'm saying mm, this is an oriental fusion scent oh i smell orange Nagasca vanilla lavender oh my god this fragrance is so beautifully made there's a certain um classicness to it it gives me it gives me this is not released in 2019 but the vibes are very sex and the city sex and the city kind of bold women there you go carrie bradshaw would wear this because i don't find her a girly girl and i don't find her overtly masculine and she's not like too sexy she's just perfect i think this would be it so this is 1990s sex of the city babe oh she got a career going she's dating a mr big somewhere yes honey it is juicy the siage everyone around you will smell you another compliment get uh, hi hi so much hi please compliment galore compliments galore everyone around you will smell you but the longevity is the longevity for me once i spread this on my hair it will last until i wash my hair let's just say that all my clothes as well unless they're laundered i will still smell a hint of it actually the seat belt in my car smells of lib because i sprayed this a while back and i was driving and it's never gone and i've worn other scents before but i enter my car and it smells like why i said lib that is a good problem to have oh yes definitely the buy the best fragrance buy of 2020 i bought this blind buy i had seen sheila uh kimori she had posted that she had this i saw angel had this but i had never gotten a whiff of it i just saw it on the sierra page and i said one please check out send it to me and i'm not disappointed another one i've used a lot but clearly it's not moving because a little goes a long way mm. let me tell you just bless people with your with your sense bless people with your presence smell good show up and they're like oh, i can't wait for Nelly to come she smells so good she always smells so good be that girl in 2021 okay good and that marks the end of this video i want to end on a sweet 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 note throughout the month of february sierra perfumes is giving discounts discounts galore so make sure every time you shop with them you ask for your discount okay they start from 10 percent onwards and i know you guys you guys go there and get discounts using my name keep doing it so happy valentine's everyone enjoy the month of love get yourself a little something or get your boyfriend or girlfriend or galentine's i don't know if boys have a boy boy in times but get something special indulge in a good fragrance it makes you feel feel good it's actually a mood stabilizer i say that a lot and I prefer perfume to chocolates because no calories. See you next time, my loves. Peace.